All right, guys, today we're going to be doing a live feeding of my two ball pythons. Okay, so guys, here I have two plastic totes that I put my snakes in when it's time to feed them. And what I do is you want to buy plastic totes that have these clips on the side so that when you put the top on, then you can clip the, the top down and keep the snake inside the container. And I put holes in the top of the container so they can breathe. And if your snakes are having a hard time eating, what you can do is actually put them in with the food and then turn the lights off and leave. And this can sometimes help get them to eat. But mine usually eat just fine with the lights on. So right here I have my two feeder mice. Hopefully they're doing okay. And we're gonna put them in here with the snakes and get them eaten. So, so we'll just get this happening here. Um, Hopefully they don't get out, that's always my fear. Oh, there he goes, look at that. Just squeezing the mouse until it's ready to eat. Yeah, see, my snakes eat really well, so that's always nice. It's just, boom, instantly ready to go. Yeah, he's holding that sucker really tight. Look at that. Okay, so let's feed the other the other snake his mouse. So we'll just dump this guy in here. Hopefully both snakes will eat. I'd hate to waste a mouse. It's always amazed me how some of the mice will go so near the snake. You'd think they'd want to be away from the snake, but they just, for some reason, they'll get it right up in the snake's business. And I'm always like, are you sure about that? You sure that's what you want to do? I don't know what this snake is thinking about. It's time for him to eat. He should be into this mouse. So one of the problems you deal with with ball pythons is sometimes they won't eat. And so like if this guy doesn't strike soon, I'll probably just cover his top and turn off the lights in here and let him um, hang out with the mouse and hopefully he'll eat. 
but what I think is really interesting, and this is just kind of a side note, is these snakes, um, they both shed recently, but they're different colors for some reason. They're normally both this pretty yellow, like the one on the left, but this other one, when he shed, he didn't look the same. So, just kind of interesting. So over here, this one's starting to eat. You can see that process there. He's got his head around the mouse. You know what? I wonder with this guy if I if it was just the same one shed twice or something because if you look kind of at his eyes and stuff and the color of his skin. It doesn't look like he's shed yet. That could explain why he's having a hard time eating. He might not be able to see very well. I hope he'll eat. Oh, this guy's making progress. Look at that. Almost finished already. That's crazy. Look at that. How fast that was. Oh, this is the coolest part, right? When they're about when they're finished. It lifts its head up to try to use the downward momentum to get the mouse to go down its throat. And you can see how he's trying to squeeze that mouse down deeper by flexing his neck. It's pretty cool, actually, watching them work away at trying to get the mouse down into their deeper part of their stomach. Well, this one here looks like it's almost all done, pretty much, here. This one here still hasn't even tried to eat the mouse yet. and. It's funny, the snakes have kind of different personalities. There's a male and a female, and uh, if you're new to the channel, um, I'll be keeping you updated on their lives together and what happens. This channel is a little different because it's going to be kind of like a running story. So if you want to watch these snakes grow up and um, see what they do, and hopefully eventually they'll have baby snakes, and it's a mating pair, a male and a female, so it'll be pretty cool. And if you love ball pythons, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of this neat stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video.